Hey guys, this is G, uh, G713 on Reddit. I've had a lot of people ask me what I do for vapor bathing ABS parts. And uh, finally I'm just going to make a little movie here and show y'all how I do it. And maybe it'll help somebody out. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need a hot plate and a pot. I prefer one that has a glass lid so I can see everything that's going on in here. Let's get some acetone. Pour it in here. I'll try to get about, about a quarter inch on the bottom of this pot. Seems to work out pretty good. I know a lot of people say just barely turn the hot plate on, but for what I do, I normally turn it to, you know, basically, uh, I think that's half. <clears throat> then, while this thing is warming up, you need to set your figures. In my case, I'm going to be bathing several of these, and they all need to be... They all need to be place nice and even on my little jig. Now this jig is very interesting. It's uh, made from an erector set, a Vex erector set, with a whole bunch of little stand up here so I can adjust the screw placement and for, it works really good for just about anything. Problem with it is that because it has so much closed areas when you put it in the pot, it displaces the gas out of your pot. This is my older setup made from parts from Walmart and well, copper wire and some soldering iron I believe. And this thing works really good because it's all open on the bottom so when you have your acetone vapor built up in your pot and then you set this in there you don't displace all your vapor back out and have to wait for it to build back up. Here's a few parts where you're sitting on the table. You can see how they're nice and shiny. It's yellow. Let's see if I got a flashlight or something. Okay, we're going to let this pot here set for, I don't know, probably three or four minutes. When it gets done, I'll show you the rest of the steps. Okay, guys. It's been probably about three minutes, maybe five. Anyway, we're seeing condensation on the top of this lid. I don't know if you can see it. And if you look down in the pot there, that little gray layer, that's actually the vapor as it moves up the pot and that's what I use to tell when it's covered the whole part. Let's go ahead and put these parts in. Now, when you pull that lid off, that vapor is going to have a tendency to stay in the pot. So if you go nice and slow, you might be able to keep it all in there. Most of the time you got to Okay. Alright, so we got everything in there. Go a little bit. Let's see if y'all can see some paper bathing. Okay. Now, try to get a good angle here. <clears throat> Alright, so we can see our part, and you'll notice on the top how it's starting to smooth. And it'll be real obvious. That little vapor layer is moving up there. And it's right about to go over the top of this particular part. And you don't have to put it in there very long at all. I normally leave it in there just until that vapor layer 
is over all the parts. So, and that's it. Pull it out. Try not to touch the sides of the pot because it'll scrape up the parts there. Shut this thing off. Now, if you're doing this a lot and you put that lid on there, that acetone will stay in this pot for you know three or four days without any trouble you have to add a little bit here and there but you won't lose the majority of your acetone and these parts here as you can see are nice and smooth and glassy and that's what you want of course you can always leave the part or say you only want to do the bottom half of this piece we can always just stick it in there long enough to do that because the bottom is going to get more of a coating than the top. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope this helps any of y'all out that are trying to do some vapor bathing. You always check me out on Reddit. I'm always putting on uh, functional parts. That's G713.